533 on the clock right now. Well, a Texas school is once again in the spotlight for punishing a student over his natural hairstyle. And his mother says it is a direct violation of the state's new Crown Act. But is it? Janelle Bluto gets those answers. Does the Crown Act apply in this situation? The family says yes. The district says no. Even state lawmakers seem to be at odds. For the second day this week, Barbers Hill High School junior Daryl George is suspended, his mom says, over the length of his hair. They said that when let down, his hair is below his eyebrows, which they never seen his hair let down because, as you can see from pictures, his hair is always up. She says George was first given a two-week suspension August 31st, but when he showed up to school yesterday, he was suspended again saying each day he's forced to sit on a stool for eight hours in a cubicle. She says he's done nothing wrong. He's going to go to school every day. He's going to go to school in dress code, in, in not violating a dress code. And we just going to have to take it one day at a time, one step at a time. Barbers Hill ISD is no stranger to controversy over this issue. The Crown Act, a law prohibiting race based hair discrimination in Texas workplaces and schools, was passed after a Barbers Hill student, DeAndre Arnold, was suspended in 2020 for the length of his locks. He was also told he couldn't walk at graduation unless he cut them. But the district says with George, they are not in conflict with the Crown Act, pointing to a recent interview with State Representative Retta Bowers, who introduced that very act. It's strongly about protective styles. That's what we need to, to know, that it, it's not about length and it's, it's not about color of hair. The district says the Barbers Hill ISD dress and grooming code permits protective hairstyles, but any hairstyle must be in conformity with the requirement that male students hair will not extend at any time below the eyebrows or below the ear lobes. The law itself does not mention length, but says protective hairstyle includes braids, locks and twists. And other lawmakers take a different stance on the issue. State Senator Boris Miles, a sponsor of the Crown Act, says the district claiming that Daryl is violating a hair length policy is simply a backdoor method to continue discriminating against students with natural hair. He says it is unbelievable that the district whose discriminatory actions led to the creation of the Crown Act is the first to defy the new law. Daryl's family and attorneys say they are taking legal action against the district and say they have contacted CPS. Back to you. You know, I just can't believe that in 2023, this is still an issue. Those hairstyles, you know, the braids, the dreadlocks have been worn since the beginning of time. I feel mm -hmm. like maybe is this an old outdated rule that the school needs to change and not necessarily continue to keep suspending students for Take something Take a look at so yourself because in this day and age, Definitely. are you going to tell me that my hair yes. is unprofessional? unprofessional. It's, it's not, it's not up to par. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. And I, I remember prior to me getting this job at KCE and I went for another interview for what a reporter position, mm -hmm. sat down with the news director. The first thing out of her mouth, is that your real hair? I said, oh my gosh, this, this isn't the job for me. <laughs> I knew, I knew right there that was not the job for me. But it's just crazy that mm -hmm. still in 2023, hair is still yeah. an issue. We'll see how it unfolds. Yeah, for sure.